we're all here to see England beat Australia. Michael Liner, um, uh, you said earlier in, in the week that Australia were going to beat England by 27 points to 10. Are you on drugs? Uh, I've got to get a little carried away here, so I got a little bit excited after seeing our backs against Wales last week, but it's going to be a bit closer than that, but I'll still take a week by one. That'll do me. Lawrence, would you say that it, it's a it's a one pack race here between them and South? Yeah, I think the key for the game for me is that you know England took a big step forward last week. You know they finished the game fantastically well, but they've got to start with that intensity uh, today. I think if they do, they can't afford to chase the game like they did last week. So we'd start with that intensity. We should get better and better. And I, I do fancy our chances today. Lawrence has really well done with the swinging sentence together. It wasn't particularly brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Give a round of applause. Barkey, are you listening? He is pretty good, isn't he? <laughs> the point is, though, very importantly, don't watch the highlights on BBC tonight because you'll get more of that. <laughs> you are wasted on ESPN. Let's not get into that. I'm just wasted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a serious question about rugby. Do you think that rugby players taking part in dance contests is directly responsible for declining attendances at rugby rounds? <laughs> you know, I sit next to Austin. I've known him for many, many years. What cannot be denied, he was an unbelievable dancer. <laughs> Average rugby player, but an unbelievable dancer. You were good, but you should never have won it. You were right to go out in the semi-final. Tom James is way better than you. Quarter final, as a matter of interest. He went out in the quarters. Matt Dawson beat you with that as well. <laughs> <laughs> well. Have you ever considered doing the dancing thing and following uh, Austin's illustrious footsteps, beating Jesse so Wallace? Well, I, I, just, uh, I just lost an England game and um, Austin had retired by then. You don't do that, you haven't got any hair up there. It's <laughs> 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 totally up here. Were you talking to me or Austin then? I can't remember. <laughs> Been, uh, been transferred from my buses. <laughs> That's what a team we are in yesterday. All the kitchen staff are looking for the pepper. It's in the top of Austin's head. But, <laughs> at, least, hold on a sec. at least I look like I'm out of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I used another pack that looked like Lord of the Rings. What do you look like? As I was saying, uh, I, uh, I lost a game for him when I came back feeling very depressed, um, and that often happens as a rugby player when you lose. And then I turned on the television and saw this little dwarf in, um, in a pink sequin shirt and uh, tights pulled up to his nipples, and I thought, no matter how bad I feel, there is another rugby player that looks and feels a lot worse than I do. Do you know what? It's one of those real strange things when you come to Twitter, I don't know whether these guys feel the same, where your heart's saying that England can win, and I, I truly believe we can, but I think that Australia have got so much talent. If they get 30% of the ball, that back line's going to be hard to stop, so England are going to win 22-10. <laughs> Lawrence, through the haze of mojitos, have you got any sense of advice? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. There's not a lot of difference between the two sides, and I think the difference could be what Martin Johnson does. I, mean, I want England to come out really pumped up and play with a level of intensity that they finish the game against New Zealand, because if they do, this English crowd will carry us to victory, I believe it. Okay, we've got, we've got three, and Australia down there, you've obviously heard what the Englishman had to say, you've obviously revised your opinion. Uh, you also gave an England win before Will has to go and put his big nose on the big screen. <laughs> I'll stick with Australia, 27-15. Ooh, end on a low. Well, look, you've been fantastic, gentlemen. We will hear from them after the game, so we'll be able to break them for their views. But for the time being, thank you very much. Michael Viner, Thomas and Alex.